Hi everyone, Kelly here, and today I'm just going to do a really quick video where I talk about a few of the things on my June, June TBR. I'm not giving myself a lot of books to read specifically because I've been just enjoying mood reading lately and I haven't been reading the things I've been putting on my TBRs. And so the only thing I'm going to really talk about is um, the like my scratch off books and the one you voted on for me to read and then my one like buddy read and that's like it and the rest I'm just going to be mood reading. I'm actually thinking I'm going to play a little catch up because I've missed a couple books that you guys have voted on through my keep read and unhaul so I want to catch up on those and I also just have like books I've said I was going to read in the last few months that I haven't. I have some library books so I'm just kind of got a pile in my mind that I'm going to Go through but i'm not going to show you those so today i'm just going to show you a few books and keep this short so first of all the one i know i'm going to read is for the analog 2020 which is a group of us that are reading through all the anna green gable series i've been doing that faithfully every month and so i will be reading anna of ingleside in june and this is the sixth book i've been really just loving all the books may's book i just like was probably one of my favorites i absolutely loved it so i'm very excited to be moving on to this one and then in terms of my keep read and unhaul if you are new here i every month you guys get to vote on some books from that i had bought two years ago tell me which one i should keep for later one that i should read that month and then one i should get rid of and for the one that i should keep you guys voted for big little lies so i will be getting rid of a couple of the other ones that didn't get voted for i just haven't decided for sure and since my thrift stores aren't even open right now I will make that decision a little later, but I will be unhauling some more from that. But this one I will keep and get to at some point. The book that you voted for me to read is Esperanza Rising by Pam Yunus Ryan. I'm really excited that you picked this one. One, because it's short <laughs> since it's a uh, middle grade, so it should go by quickly. And I've really been wanting to read this book for the longest time. So many people rave about it. Um, it's an immigration story. And I believe the author wrote it based on her grandmother's life and experiences. So I just really want to get to this book. I've enjoyed other books I've read by this author. So I'm excited. I will be reading this in June. And then the one that you voted for me to unhaul is called The Last Child. This is a like thriller mystery kind of book. And I just have had no urge to pick it up in the two years I've owned it other than I did start it right away when I first bought it read about like I don't know 50 pages put it down and never picked it up for two years so I'm excited to be getting rid of this so so far that's only two books I have to read the Anne book and Esperanza Rising and then I'm going to pick two from my scratch off I did good in May because I read both of my scratch off books and by read them both I mean I DNF'd one after starting to read it and I finished the other one but the good thing is that the one I finished, Just Listen, I actually really enjoyed that one. So it's been a while since I've enjoyed one of the scratch off books. So I was excited about that. So I'm really hoping that we will pick some ones that I really enjoy this time. So what I do with this, I just scratch off two random books and those I have to try in that month or get rid of them. And the first one I'm going to go for is up here. I'll do this one. Okay, and it is, I don't know if you see that, Whisper of Death, and I believe that one, yes. So um, a, last year, I think I had read a Christopher Pike book. Christopher Pike was writing back in like the 80s and 90s, and I read them a lot when I was in middle school and early high school and loved them. And so I tried one of his last year as like kind of a nostalgia and I had a good time with it. And so then when I saw a bunch of them at the library sale for like 20 cents, I bought several. And then I read another one and hated it and DNF'd it. So I'm like, hmm, I don't know. I'm going to try this one. And if it is really horrible, I'll get rid of all the other ones I bought from the library sale. So this is kind of a group thing. If I read this, and I find it enjoyable. Like, I, I don't expect it to be amazing. I expect it to be campy, but like, if it's fun campy, I'll keep the other ones to read at some point, maybe at like Halloween time for fun. And if not, I will get rid of them all. And he just wrote kind of like little like teen thriller or horror kind of books. And so obviously this one looks like kind of a horror and maybe paranormal. That guy looks like a ghost or something. So at least this one will be a fun experience, even if I end up DNFing it. I think it'll still be a fun one to try and an easy one to read because usually these books are like, I don't know, 150 pages. Yeah, so it'll be easy. Um, and then the next one, why don't we go all the way to the other end? 
Okay, well this one will be a little harder because it's more of a longer book and not what I'm necessarily in the mood for. I got I, Eliza Hamilton, which is a historical fiction. And like I said, it's it's got big. So I guess I got one short and one big. This one's, it's only actually 400 and some pages. It just looks bigger and it's heavier. But yeah, it's a historical fiction about the wife of Alexander Hamilton. So I definitely want to be giving this one a try. I just don't often pick up historical fiction. It's just not like my genre of choice. Um, but I'm going to be giving it a try. And especially since this one will read really fast, I think these are a two good ones to try. So really the only things that are officially on my TBR for this month are these four books. And one's a middle grade and books go, I read those in like two days, no matter what. Crystal Pike book is really short. And so this is the only kind of unknown of the group. So I think that this will be great to just have a relaxing summer month that I can just pick up whatever I feel like. I do really want to like read my library books because my library is starting to open up for like drop offs because um, you know, they're trying to collect all their items that have been out for several months. So I do want to finish all those library books. So maybe I'll do like a challenge to myself at some point in June and maybe I'll vlog it if you're interested. I don't know. I feel like vlogs are kind of hit or miss that like a lot of people might not be interested in them. So let me know if you think that would be interesting because all my library books are new releases, like things that have come out in the last like maybe five months, like in 2020. So if you'd be interested in, in seeing a vlog of new releases read by me, um, let me know. I might just spend a week doing that. And that's it for me. Let me know what you're interested in doing in June and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.